Hello everyone, my name is Alan and in this video I'm going to show you very quickly what to expect and what you get when you buy the Minicam, also known as the 5 GHz indoor camera from LaxiHub. A very interesting device full of features that I consider to be what you should expect from a well-priced full HD IP cam. Besides the camera, it includes the USB cable, the power adapters you can see right here, which is a 5 watt power supply. And about this cable, for sure, I'm going to tell you that you're going to run short, so you might want to get a good quality USB extension cable. And as usual, the RNT window stickers of camera protected premises. You'll also get a circle double-sated 3M tape that will provide the support for the magnetic base, which is attached to the back of the camera and makes it very easy to point to the exact place the camera should be covering. It doesn't have any screw mounting possibilities, so in rough surfaces you might need to add some silicone or any similar glue or adhesive. The only obstacle for a perfect pointing is ironically the power port and how long the plug in the back sticks out. Setting up this camera is literally effortless. It takes no more than a minute, including the time it takes for you to download the RNT app. Actually, that's one of the things that we like the most about these cameras. Uh, and here is how. Just click the Add button in the downloaded RNT app, select the camera you bought, follow the instructions, point the camera to the QR code generated by the app, and wait no more than 5 seconds for the camera to show on your screen. That's it. About the image quality, I have to say, it has a good image quality, especially with daylight. At night, it has pretty powerful infrared lighting and may look a little grainy, but without it, you may not be able to capture anything at all, so placing this camera behind a window may not be an option. Remember, this is something that happens with all the cameras in this price range. You can either select to save directly in its SD card, which is not provided by the way, or sign up to its cloud-based recording system very much like the one provided in the Blink Mini we tested a few months back. Either way, getting your recordings is as easy as recording while watching. It'll even give you three months of free service, so you can really test if it is right for you. Normally, you have to keep in mind that each camera uploading to the cloud will consume between 0.5 and 1.5 megabit per second of your bandwidth. Finally, and not less important, setting it up with your Alexa devices is very easy. You will go to the Alexa app, search for the RNT skill, enable it, and you're ready to go. There you will have your cameras ready to be used and ready to be brought up just by saying a simple command. Alexa, show me the balcony. Okay. Before I ended this video, I decided to make a final test. A lot of people have complained about this camera not being able to connect to a 5 GHz network, even on setup. So I decided to give it a try and disable the 2.4 GHz network at home and try to set up my camera as if nothing had happened. And it worked. Yes, it worked normally as if I had done it with the 2.4 GHz network enabled. I wouldn't worry much about this, as actually 2.4 GHz networks have greater range and especially with these little devices that sometimes are not going to be so close to the access points, I would rather use the 2.4 GHz network than the 5 GHz network. Again, each camera only uses 1.5 megabit per second tops, so 2.4 GHz networks will do just fine. And that's all. We really appreciate you having watched this video. We hope it was of any help, especially if you're in the decision-making process of buying one of these great cameras. See you next time.